The past and present Real Madrid team is one of the best teams to do because they have so many elite players. But what does a past, present, and future Real Madrid team look like in FC24? See, Mbappe is pretty much confirmed to Real Madrid. Just not really confirmed, but pretty much confirmed. So today we're going to be building the best past and present Real Madrid team, but with the one and only big boy Mbappe. See, I'm going to go ahead and have Mbappe at the right wing position, which he can't really play the right wing position. And probably, I don't know if he's ever played it in his career. Uh, he's going to get no chemistry, but maybe I'll be able to mess around with the team in a minute and you'll understand why I didn't put him on full chem because the players that are around him are just amazing. And honestly, me having him at right wing already makes my boy Figu not in the team. And you guys know, like I know, Figu's one of the sickest right wingers that ever played out there, right? So unfortunately, no Figu. But we have 10 other players to put around Mbappe to represent this amazing badge that is called Real Madrid correctly. And, and listen, it wasn't easy because this team has so many historic players. Look, let me stop talking. Let's jump into it. Mbappe is amazing, right? And he should play the striker position. Problem is we can't have him at the striker position because there goes a guy named R9. And R9 is one of the best number nines that ever played our beautiful sport. Let's just be honest. Our beautiful game, this guy was one of the best of the best. And had he not taken a crazy injury to his knee, maybe he could have been the best of the best. Maybe he would have gone down as the GOAT if he didn't take the knee injury. I don't know. Some people argue yes. Some people argue no. Regardless, for me... I personally love Messi and Ronaldo and Ronaldinho a little bit more, but at the end of the day, R9 was that guy. He's one of the most phenomenal players I've ever watched play football, and I can I, I that I'll, I'll, I'll say that all the time. He's one of the best players I've ever seen play. So that's why he's gonna be at the striker position, and that's why Mbappe's off chemistry because there's one Ronaldo and there must be another Ronaldo because you cannot do a Real Madrid team without. Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's just keep the facts where the facts have to be put. Ronaldo is one of the greatest when it comes to the history of Real Madrid. The things he's won, the thing he achieved, the thing he accomplished. I mean, people argue he's probably the best player that ever played for Real Madrid. That's up to you guys. I'm not going to say whether he is or isn't. I'm just going to say that he, for me, I mean, listen, he's that guy. And we all can talk, we can all talk about how, whatever between him and Messi. But when it comes to what he did for Real Madrid, that's, that's, uh, uh, I mean, it's unmatched, man. The guy is absolutely insane. Now, this is where a lot of people are going to be like, you messed up big time here. And I'm not going to argue it. If you guys think I messed up, then I messed up. I didn't want to go with a bunch of past players. So at the left wing position, I'm going to go ahead and put the Brasileiro himself, big Vinicius Jr. Now, here's the problem with this one. Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo, have they done enough for Real Madrid? I mean, that's a question that's going to come up a lot. Have they done enough? Are they even on this list, right? You leave Benzema out. You leave this guy out. You leave that guy out. Does Vinicius Jr. deserve to be in a past and present Real Madrid team? The difference, and future, the difference is we need some past, I mean, present players. And right now, when we talk about present players, Vinicius Jr. could be that guy. He probably is the guy at Real Madrid. Some will say Jude Bellingham kind of struggled, shot off, but Vinny's that guy. Vinny's that guy for Madrid. So to not have him in would be kind of criminal we gotta have him in the team so the front four is gonna be Mbappe Vinicius Jr R9 and Cristiano Ronaldo CR7 R9 love this amazing team again Mbappe is off chemistry now when the team is fully done if Ronaldo's not on full chem then I'll play Ronaldo off chem because I'm pretty sure Vinicius I mean uh, Mbappe will be full chem by the time we are done with the team we're gonna leave the midfield and we're gonna go directly to the back line Let's get there. It's going to get juicy in the back, all right? We're going to go with the one and only big boy, Roberto Carlos, left back. Um, For me, I'm going to say it how it is. I, I'm going to get a lot of stick for this one. Is he the greatest left back ever? Um, I think the greatest Brazilian left back ever is Marcelo. That's me. Um, Do I think Roberto Carlos was probably better than Marcelo? Um, going forward, yes. I don't know about defensively, but I will tell you this. What Ma what Marcelo achieved at Real Madrid is crazy. So when I think about a, 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 a Brazilian player with just an unbelievable like resume, Marcelo's that guy. Marcelo's resume of things he's won is crazy. Um, so in my opinion, I don't know, man. I I really really like Marcelo. I'm gonna go with Roberto Carlos because Roberto Carlos is not in uh, Marcelo's not in the game. Um, but yo, it's a tough argument, man, because Roberto Carlos won the World Cup, right? And Marcelo never did, I don't think. So um, there's a you know that's another that's another thing that you give to Roberto Carlos. But yo, it's very close. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe I just love Marcelo, man. I really really liked Marcelo. We're gonna move to the goalkeeper position. Get in the comments down below, Marcelo 
or 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 or, Sergio, or, or Roberto Carlos. Let me know. We're gonna go with Casillas. All right, one of the most uh, 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 iconic goalkeepers in all of football. A lot of people know this guy. He finished his career playing for FC Porto, who is Benfica's rivals. I didn't really like that, but hey, man, he was even good when he was at Porto. Let's just be honest with each other. Casillas, one of the most iconic Spanish goalkeepers, played for FC Porto, but his mostly known for his 725 appearances, 16 years at Real Madrid. That's what the man was known for. He was unbelievable for Real Madrid. Let's be honest with each other. The right back, this is where it's not so special, right? It's not, this ain't like, this ain't gonna look so so good on paper, but it's gonna be Carvajal. Um, now, the one thing I will say about Carvajal is I think Carvajal is one of the most disrespected right backs to ever play. I think he's really good. And the fact that he hasn't lost his spot at Real Madrid for so many years, a very long time, should say more about this guy's ability and his career. A lot of people give this guy stick. A lot of people have said this guy has been done for a long time. And he's still around, and he's still doing his thing, and he's still starring, he still has crazy awesome games. And a lot of the big games for Real Madrid, this man plays phenomenal. So I do think that we do kind of need to put a little bit more respect on big boy Carvajal because he was insane. Now, when it gets to the back line, right, you got Pep, and a lot of people might not say it, but what Pep achieved at Real Madrid was pretty special, pretty special. The guy was an absolute monster for them. Um, but we got to have Carvajal because Carvajal was one of the best to ever do it. Big Carvajal played for Real Madrid for 116 games. I could be wrong when I say this, and I hope I'm um, I hope I'm right about this one, but he won a Ballon d'Or, and I believe when he won the Ballon d'Or, he played for Real Madrid. Don't quote me on that. I, I could be wrong, but I'm I think he won it when he played for Real Madrid. Um, so he's got to be in this team, and if the other spot didn't belong to Sergio Ramos, then I would kind of be a fraud, you know? I would most likely be the biggest fraud ever. Um, so I got to give it to him. I did want to throw Pepe in this team. I'm not going to lie to you. I did want to throw Pepe in this team, but it doesn't make a lot of sense, man. It's got to be the one and only big boy Sergio Ramos. So for the back line, we got Roberto Carlos. Could have been Marcelo, but he's not in the game. Carvajal could have been, Pe I mean, uh, Cannavaro. Could have been Pep, but we're going Cannavaro. Sergio Ramos couldn't be anybody else. Got to be Sergio Ramos for me. And then the big boy, Carvajal, with Casillas in that. Ladies and gentlemen, all I am missing is the midfield. And we got the past, the present, and the future with Mbappe. So let's get into this midfield. Here we go. To kick the midfield off, okay? To kick the midfield off, I decided to go ahead and put... The one and only Big Jude Bellingham. Does he deserve to be in this team already? Is it too soon to put him in a team with R9, with Cristiano, with Roberto Carlos, with Sergio Ramos for the things that he's achieved at, uh, you, uh, at Real Madrid? He hasn't really achieved nothing there yet. But he is an incredible midfielder. He is the president right now. He plays for them and is up. He's, up, he's only ticking up, man. This guy is an absolute phenomenal football player out of this world i've seen people say he's overrated i do not think he's overrated i think this guy is an outstanding outstanding football player and i'm excited to see where his career continues to go from here we're going to move into the last position and i had to go with the one and only zadan why Z Z zadan achieved a crazy amount for this football club on the field and then after he left football he becomes a manager and he won them the three p one of the biggest achievements in the modern day Champions League history. Unbelievable what this guy was able to achieve for this club. So for that reason, he is going to be a part of the past and the present. And if you see here, my boy Mbappe gets full chemistry and Ronaldo wouldn't. Um, or I can have Ronaldo on too. I'm going to keep Cristiano Ronaldo off of chemistry. Let Mbappe get the full chemistry. We got my boy Mbappe, R9, Cristiano Ronaldo, Vinicius Jr., Zidane, Jude Bellingham, Roberto Carlos, Cannavaro, Casillas, Sergio Ramos. That's it already. I think I did. And the one and only Carvajal. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know how you think I did with the past, the present, and the future Real Madrid team. I personally think I did a pretty darn nice job, if I'm being honest with you. But we're not done. We're going to throw a few more players on the bench in the reserve. We got Rodrigo. We got Valverde. We got my boy Courtois, and we're going to go ahead and throw my boy A.G. into the team, baby. I'm excited to see what happens with A.G. because with Mbappe potentially joining Real Madrid, 
pretty much looks confirmed. And also Enderick coming, who looked pretty good in his Brazilian international playing for Brazil for international team. I wonder what happens to AG, man. Does he go on loan? Does he get playing time? What do you think the future holds for big AG? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is the squad. I am going to be playing this team in a 4-4-2 formation with Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe on the wing. I think it's the only way to play it. Ronaldo and Ronaldo up top. Zidane and Jude Bellingham in the middle. Roberto Carlos and Carvajal down the wing in a 4-4-2 formation. I think it's the best thing that we can do for this formation, but it is now, or for, for this team, it is now time to find out, can this team win some games in FC 24? Let's find out. Here we go, baby. Our first game of weekend league qualifiers. We got matched up against a defense that I think we should really be able to score a lot of goals against. But again, never judge a book by its cover. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It means a lot to me. But I definitely want to do more of these type of videos if you guys enjoy them. And let me know what team we should do next. Past, present, and the future if there's some rumors out there. Kaka is through. And guess what? Kaka is someone that we left out. Now that I think about it, we could have gone with Big Kaka. And we didn't. Here comes my boy Ronaldo. Cristiano drops it off to Mbappe. And Mbappe can ball roll the keeper. And guess who scores first for Real Madrid? Past, present, and future. It is the future. Big Mbappe. And how else would it happen? Cristiano Ronaldo. One of the biggest Real Madrid legends ever. Sent a through ball to Mbappe. That was just magical. And now it's Vinicius Jr. I almost was able to send it down to Ronaldo, but it didn't work out. Sergio Ramos, it's a great find to Vinicius Jr. You know what's crazy is Vinicius Jr., if you really think about it, I mean, he's the future. Is he not? Satan? he's still so young. Come on, Satan! As I was saying, it feels like, you know, we're calling Mbappe the future. But Jude Bellingham and Vinicius Jr., I mean, they just got to Madrid for real, for real. Like, their, their careers at Madrid are just really kicking off, man. These guys are the future. And it's just, like, so cool to see what Madrid is putting together. Here comes Roberto Carlos. Do we shoot this with Roberto? Oh, he broke the keeper. Oh, I choked. Zidane. R R9. Nice R9. Finding Zidane. Who finds Mbappe? The French connection's crazy. This is Mbappe. He finds Ronaldo. Ronaldo shoots. Cristiano Ronaldo in a Madrid shirt scoring again. Oh, man. Goat doing goat type things. You know what I'm saying? If, if he's your goal, he might not be your goal. Maybe Messi is. That's okay. But this is a Madrid video. Come on now. Big Ronaldo doing Ronaldo type things. Look at this. Ronaldo stealing it. Trying to find the other Ronaldo. That was a bad pass. My bad. Mbappe going to shoot this? All these free kick th takers and Mbappe's on it? That's crazy. Here's R9. He slows down. He finds Mbappe. Mbappe looks up, sees Cristiano, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Soon. Ronaldo's going crazy, and I believe it's Mbappe's second assist to big Cristiano Ronaldo. Unbelievable. Mbappe's going crazy this game. Let's go, Mbappe. Mbappe's through. Mbappe, fake shots. Mbappe, Mbappe, go. <laughs> Come on, Mbappe. Two. What a play, man. 5 0, lads, and we're 34 minutes in. This team actually goes crazy. What a steal from Mbappe. R9 is through, lads. Has he scored? R9 has not scored. R9 has. N I just realized R9 has not scored, and I just missed with him. Ramos, big steal. Mbappe. Mbappe. Ball roll, Mbappe. Into R9. R9 to Zidane. And the ex-teammates, they played together for a minute, didn't they? Big Zidane. What a ball from R9. What a finish from Zidane. And we're 6-0. 30 minutes into this game. We are going crazy with the past, present, and future Real Madrid squad. Oh, man. R9. He holds on. He finds Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. to the back post where I wanted Mbappe, but I couldn't get it there. Roberto Carlos keeps it alive. This is Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. with a cutback. Vinny Jr. still on it. Into this inside to Zidane. Ronaldo, what a goal. 7-0, lads. 7-0, and guess who scores it? Mr. CR7. I know he's wearing nine. I apologize. Mr. CR7 scores the seventh goal in the 45th minute. The ref doesn't call for halftime, and my opponent is staying, lads. Mbappe, he finds R9, and I must do the Brazilian justice. We got to score with him. We have to score. We finally score with him. 
R9 scores the eighth. I think that's his first one of this game. But, but imagine scoring seven goals before R9 scores one, who potentially could be the best player on this team. Mbappe just stole a nice one. And Mbappe swings it to R9. And R9's offside. I choked, bro. Cristiano. Vinicius Jr. I missed. I, wait. I got it. Yes. 9-0. <laughs> bro, what? It, yo, you got it back out, bro. Like, what are we doing? It's 9-0 in the 60th minute. Like, at some point, bro. Like, I know we're going crazy with the Real Madrid team. I know how historically and how great they are, right? But at some point, bro, you just got to leave. Here's our nine. Here's our nine. Here's our nine. It's in there, bro. Jude Bellingham loses it, wins it, gives it to Vinny, and Vinny finds R9, and then R9 finds Zidane. Oh, went for the rainbow. Yo, I swear, I swear that thing lagged right when I was going for the rainbow, bro. I swear it. I swear it. I swear it. I swear it, it did. Da, 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 clean sheet, clean sheet, clean sheet, boys, give me that, let's go, dude, clean sheets only, man, clean sheets only, Roberto Carlos got the Jets all the way on, I give it to R9, R9 goes to Ronaldo, Ronaldo goes to Mbappe, Mbappe scores the 11th, Vinicius, the one and only junior, Vinicius, got him on the ground, Vinicius makes it 12, I only have one mission, lads, I have one more minute for my mission to be complete, uh-oh, I wanted to keep a clean sheet so bad. Please, Sergio Ramos. Yes, Ramos. Get Ramos, get it. Nice. Let's go, man. I wanted a clear sheet, clean sheet so bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Clear, clear, clear. Oh, no. Guys, you have no idea. No. Oh, no. To the keeper, to the keeper. Please. Let's go, lads. I, I wanted a clean sheet, lads. I wanted one really, really bad, and we got it. We went 12 0. My opponent played from the beginning to the end. Unbelievable performance, and guess who gets it? CR7. Four shots, three goals. Hat trick for CR7. He's going to win man of the match. But Mbappe was fantastic, lads. Absolutely fantastic. Let's check this out really quickly. Uh, performances. Uh, we're going to get three goals, three, uh, three assists from Ronaldo. The other R9, two goals, three assists. And uh, Vinicius Jr., two goals, one assist. Uh, Jude Bellingham, zero goals, one assist. Mbappe also got a 3-3. How did Ronaldo get man of the match? That's kind of interesting. Do you have more shots? Maybe because Ronaldo had less shots? I'm not sure. No, three shots, three goals, three assists. That's crazy. 100% shot accuracy. I don't know. Ronaldo got man of the match, though. Um, uh, and Zidane with two. Ladies and gentlemen, what a win for the Real Madrid side. Now, what I'm about to say to you guys might not make a lot of sense to a lot of people, but maybe some people can't understand what I'm about to say. Playing with this team... And I thought I was going to play more with it, but we got plenty of goals. Usually I play a few games to get goals, but we got enough. Um, makes me emotional, man. It makes me emotional. And I'm going to explain why it makes me emotional. Growing up, I watched Sergio Ramos's career, Ronaldo's career, the other Ronaldo R9's career. Zidane, I watched these players play. Um, I know I'm, old, I'm, old, I'm older, lads. Um, but now to see like Carvajal at the end and Ramos at the end and... Ronaldo at the end of their careers, there is literally Mbappe, Jude Bellingham, and Vinny that are left. And to me, it's just like, man, so many players I grew up watching and enjoying and loving are gone. And I think to myself, like, bro, what's what's in store for the future? And right now, although Real Madrid's building a super team, a really nice team, I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but football is a little bit stale. And I really hope that a lot more superstars really start to pop on. Like, when you really think about football, man, we had R9, Ronaldo and Messi dominate for a long time. Before that, there was freaking R9 and Ronaldinho and Zidane. Now, I don't I don't really see the same caliber of players. And maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy and the sport just changed a lot. But definitely makes me a little nostalgic, like a little emotional looking at this team. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did and you want to see more past, present, and future, let me know in the comments down below who's next and what player and what team and we'll get involved. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one, man. Thanks for watching. Booyah. We are out of here.